quick tutorial on making minor city changes and I'm going to make a second part to this that looks at some more complicated city changes. Um, so there's a couple different ingredients here. First of all, think about uh, the buildings that you want to plant and the buildings that you're willing to get rid of. That's ingredient number one and pretty obvious. And secondly, just go through each building and calculate the the total size of, of what you're trying to accomplish. So in this example, I am trying to um, plant more feta. And this, this row over here is 12 tall, so it also breaks down into perfect uh, pairs of feta. Um, but the buildings inside that row are three tall, right? So that's kind of, you got to plan that specifically. So my goal is to add more, more feta and compress, compress this road group primarily is, is the primary goal, but in the process of adding feta, I also eliminate the need for population. So I will be able to plant even more feta than, than what my city footprint currently allows. So quick demonstration on how that would work. And I've set up my buildings specifically for the ability to, to duplicate this every day. So feta is the size of a gator. Yes, there's two feta. And now I need to make up the footprint um, of the Green Guardians market that, that it would be paired with, which would actually be only two moon gardens. So watch this real quick, and then I'll kind of give you the summary here of uh, the way I approach minor changes. So I've eliminated those groups, right? And now I am left with... Um, they're not going to fit in there, so we're not even going to bother with that. Um, alligator times 2 is 12 plus six rune gardens makes 18 and three roads, which is the same footprint as nine. Plus six. Plus six. And I'll do this in edit mode first, before I actually start storing buildings, I'll, I'll do this in edit mode in order to make sure that the, um, the space that I've calculated is actually going to accomplish the thing that I'm trying to do. And in this case, it's perfect, right? Um, so all my buildings are planted. I haven't changed any my layout substantially um, and then these will get stored and replaced with the things that I'm trying to plant more of correct the key ingredient with this whole formula is that first of all calculate the real estate that the buildings you do want to plant will consume and then find an exact match of the buildings that you're willing to get rid of as as a pair um, and I always do my changes like this I'll I'll save this layout and then store these buildings from the disconnected position just so that I visually know that it's gonna mesh up perfectly um, the the key ingredient though is to calculate the space total and these are obviously very different shapes right gator and feta are the same footprint but different shapes. So as long as the square count is the same, you don't really need to store more buildings than necessary. Um, that, that's what this pattern is for. That's what this nub group is for, is so that those changes are easy to make um, for, for minor changes. So that's it for this quick tutorial. I'm gonna make a second video that looks at a little more complicated adjustment and uh, hope it helps drop me a subscribe and a like later guys